Hello everyone, my name is Muhammad Radwan, I'm a Visual Studio MVP and DevOps Practice Lead and to continue on our series of developing a Visual Studio Team Service extension and how to configure a continuous integration and continuous delivery pipeline we reach the last part which is sharing some errors which I faced during building the extension or uh, configuring the deployment pipeline just a small issues and I thought it's better to share that with you it might help so let's see that so um, the last part is discuss some errors and notes I think it's very important to mention some errors uh, I have seen first referencing the, the, the images for example if the image um, let me give you an example for example the style sheet here if it's case sensitive on the VSTS uh, when, when I upload the extension so sometimes I couldn't find some files because it's case sensitive for the file names uh, this is why it's working here in my machine but when I upload the extension it's not work so you need to make sure that the, the file name is case sensitive on VSTS extension um, so let's see some other errors uh, let's start with the build so going to the build we can see that uh, in this part the error happened because when I want to override the version I didn't put it in the right format this is why I explained here this is the right format so my problem that I just put it this number but I, I, I just need to put it in the right format in this way um, this one also before going that I want to mention very important part some of the old build so if we look for that we can see here before override the name of the package it was using the account name the extension name devops poc and then here's the version but later i override that with output name and this will be override all the time okay see another error in the release management uh, the same let's go for release management and see the history so let's see this one this is the error as we can see the error here if I click that as we can see here publish extension fail and if we look at the reason because version number must increase each time extension is published because I just trigger the deployment without incrementing the build number uh, and I put the version because it's the build it was the same number than the package created with the same version so this one another problem at the end i would like to thank you for watching the video and please if you have any question don't hesitate to contact me uh, here is my blog